Luis Hawel and welcome somebody in the house. Tell them Karibu Sana Katika Revival Apostolic Church of Kenya. Come on, just welcome somebody. And in that spirit, hallelujah, let's walk forward. Let's not just be at the back there. Amen, amen, amen. The Lord is good, the Lord is good, the Lord is good. The Lord is good this morning. He's good in this service. He's good this morning. Amen, amen, amen. Oh yes, oh yes. I want to see the people of God smiling. The sons and daughters of God smiling in the service. Amen. Amen. We want to... Nataka nwaibie siri. If this service is going to succeed, it is not because of the one who has not come. It is because of you and I who are here. So I want us to to come to the realization that we are in the holy sanctuary. We are in the service of the living God. So let's put every burden aside and lift up our voices and our souls and our hands unto him. Jesus and him alone is the one that is going to come down and release his anointing and his touch upon each one of us. And you will begin to feel the joy of the Lord in your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Even musicians in the secular music, kabla mutu wakuje kwa stage, utaona ameanza, watu wako ameanza, sijuni jana wanaita kuchote, wameanza kuchokoza watu unaona, uwanja imekuwa fairy, yani umekuwa moto. Alafu anachomokea yeye mwenyewe tu, anaimba kama dakika kumi na amemaliza. Jusi muliona kwa social media, mungina nilipu wa milioni sijui nga hapi hapa. Na hapa, kapla tuende kupiga kura. Amen. Akaimba takatake tano, na akasifu, sitaki kutaja mtu wa. Akasifu mkubwa moja. Na hea kapata milioni zake kumi na tano na akaena. Now, you can imagine in the house of God. We cannot afford in the house of God to cry. If you come to cry, you will be cry. You better release your hands. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And we want to worship God in this place. You know, this is not a theater. This is a house of worship. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. And can I tell you something? The enemy, the devil, has no place, has no room in this worshiping place. So don't allow yourself to be bound for nothing. Because the devil cannot afford to have a place here. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Satan is always in the house of Jesus and Jesus. So, if you say that you are going to be here, you are going to be here. You are going to be here. The moment you are going to be here, the enemy is at bay. Yeah. Satan is going to be here. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell your neighbor, Satan is going to be here. Satan is going to be here. He is at bay. He is at bay. So praise and worship. Nataka wimbo moja ya wakusifu kwa. Uh, tunashina kidogo ya mitambo lakini mutafumilia tu. Tunangangana tu kidogo kidogo. Eh, tukimaliza kujenga hii maneno itakuwa historia. Yeah. Oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Wanaseti hizo vitu saila wanazitoa tena zinaadifika. Wakiruni tena wanaanza upia. Yeah. So tunafanisha kasi kumu lakini wakubali tu. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we want to sing together. Tell your neighbor we want to sing together. Yeah, we want to sing, we want to worship God. So somebody lead us, we want to shout and jump and shout unto Jesus and worship him in singing, clapping our hands, dancing up and down, praising his name because he's worthy to be praised.
pray right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu Christo tunakushukuru. Tunakushukuru mama wetu kwa sababu wewe ni Bwana ambaye haubadiliki. Ndio mama ameamba. Tasaba baba ni siku njema ulioifanya. Ndio so kusanya wote umetuleta katika hekalu. Ndio bwana ama bwana. Ili baba tupate nafasi ya kuliadhimisha jina lako. Ndio Kristo. Tasaba mwamba tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako. Ndio Jehovah. Kwa jina la Yesu ninakabidhi kila mmoja mikononi mwako. Ndio Yesu. Baba tasaba ulisema nyumba yako itaitwa nyumba ya sala. Ndio bwana. Nyumba yako baba itaitwa nyumba ya sifa. Ndio Nyumba ya bwana Yesu itaitwa nyumba ya maombi. Ndio Yesu. Tasaba tasama tumeingia siku ya leo tumekuja ili bwana tukuadhimishe tumekuja ili mwamba tukuinue tumekuja ili bwana haleluya haleluya bwana asifiwe na waomba wa kristo wa kanisa hili tujifunze kuingia hapa kwa maombi hakuna kitu chochote kizuri kilichofanywa ambacho hakikulipiwa gharama. Nisikize. Hata ukiwa katika ndoa yako na unakaa tu. You don't want to get tired, you don't want to sacrifice. Uliolewa ukiwa na 23 years ama 24 ama 20. Na utafika 60 years huko tu vile ulikuwa. The only difference ni kwamba sasa umesema. But if you want to make a difference in your marriage in your family at your place of work you must work and work hard to achieve what you need tunaishi wakati ambao wa kristo mnafikiria ni baada kuwa ya kiroho ni kitu ya kawaida you must work for it praise god if you don't things will happen here na badala ubarikiwe utatoka ukilaumu mtu Praise God. Amen. And imagine tuko hapa wachungaji. Alafu badala ya mimi kumsifu Bwana naondoka hapa nikisema Pastor Sulufano ameharibu ibada sana. If you are not careful that's what is going to happen to you. Yeah. Na hakuna mtu ana makosa wewe. Wengine mwezi imeisha you have never prayed even a single day. I'm just saying the way the spirit is telling me to say. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Wengine hata tunapoomba hivyo anashindwa hii kelele yote wanapiga ni nini? Mimi tulikuja ni relax. Kwani hapa ni gym? Hapa ni health club. Ulikuja ku relax hapa? No. We came here to worship. Enda lipa mtaibga golf club. Ukitaka ku relax enda ka gym. Sio hapa. Na hata huko Sio shilingi tatu. Ah. I have a friend alitaka sana injinia wa sira. Alitaka sana niwe golf member. Mtaiga. Akani nunulia ile mikwajo. Paketi moja. 1.4 million. Akani nunulia free. Yeah. He bought. Akani peleka friend isi kumbili. Sasa yuko fika mahali kwa membership. Wakataka 2.8 million. So hata mtaiga hiyo huta enjoy. You have to pay. Yeah. Na kama hapa kupiga makofi na kuomba ni ushida na ni free, free. 2.8 million utalipa uh -uh. so hata health club huta enda yes. so utabaki safa na kama mimi hapa yeah. the point I'm making is this the moment you enter that door into this place it is a place of worship yeah. it is a place of prayer yes. hallelujah kubangu mzuri it is a good thing yeah. mana umekuja mbele ya baba lakini hiyo haitoshi Tunaitaji tumuadhimishe kwa. Yeah. Sitaki ni laumu mwimbaji ye yote. Wetu, sisi wote, kila mmoja napitia mango tofauti. Each one of us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakuna mmoja wetu ambaya meketi tu. Ha -ha. We are going through different things, different issues, different challenges. They is, they out. Yeah. But when we come to the house of God, the Lord gives us the grace. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget everything we have gone through. And we lift up our hands. And lift up our voices. And begin to be joyous into the presence of God. Oh, hallelujah. Before I bring Pastor Sultana to teach, I want us to sing. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to donate this mic to you. And 
kwanza na yeye atakuja we wow. want to sing out to jesus yeah. and today it is about worshiping and preaching hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. other things can wait because heaven is for us yeah. can you tell your neighbor heaven is for us heaven is for us tell somebody heaven is for us Jesus said Naenda kuangalia Makao. Kiswahili translation is the best. Inasema naenda kuangalia Makao. Ili mahali nitakapokuwa hata nani muepo. Praise the Lord. Hata mkiniona nina safa safa hapa kule kwa baba nina mashon yangu ndani kote. Oh hallelujah. So sometimes unapona ninalinga na tembea hivi si kwamba sielewi naelewa kuna mansion inanigotea. Bwana asifiwe. Na wewe ni bibi wa Kristo Yesu. Wewe ni bwana wa Kristo Yesu. Na mansion inatugotea. Nataka tumsifu bwana mali hapa. Let's go.
Ah, tumepata. Kama tumepata tuseme amen. amen. Wow, that is good. Tunasoma. Adam akamjua hao mkewe naye akapata mimba kamza kaini akasema nimepata mtoto mwanamme kwa Bwana. Kaongeza kamza ndugu yake Habili. Habili alikuwa mchunga kondoo na Kaini alikuwa mkulima ardhi. Kaa hatimaye Kaini akaleta mazao ya ardhi sadaka kwa Bwana. Habili naye akaleta wazao kwanza wa wanyama wake na sehemu zilizonona za wanyama. Bwana akamtakabali Habili na sadaka yake. Bali Kaini hakumtakabali ha wala sadaka yake. Kaina kakadhabika sana uso wake akakujamana. Tunakushukuru Yesu kwa ajili ya neno hili ambalo Bwana hakika umenileta kwa ajili yetu. Unaposema sana naomba kwa rao nyenyekevu e Bwana nipate nafasi ndani ya mioyo yetu. Maana yake Mungu wetu unahitaji tukuabudu katika njia ambayo ni ya uiano. Bwana amejeshi katika sehemu hii ambayo tunahitaji kutufundisha juu yake na ikaweze kwa ya baraka juu ya maisha yetu. Asonde kwa kumesikia kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Yee! Asante Bwana. Ah, kiangalia saa yangu ni saa na nusu na sina muda mrefu mbele yenu nitachukua muda mfupi sana iwezekanavyo maana yake natarajia kusikia neno toka kwa mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye anakuja nyuma yangu kwa majina yangu kama wewe ni mgeni naitwa pasta sulfana makode na hapa ni kwetu nyumbani nashukuru Mungu ambaye ametukusanya mimi na wewe ili tuweze kusikia kutoka kwa meza yake ama tuweze kula chakula kilichoandaliwa kwa meza yake iliyo takatifu na zaidi yote namshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu aliye mbele yetu baba wetu wa kiroho ambaye ndiye kiongozi wetu mara hapa ambaye amenipa nafasi hii ili nami niweze kunena nanyi kwa dakika hizi chache ah maandiko ambayo tumeyasoma ni maneno yaliyofanyika nyakati za kale wakati wa babu wetu wa kwanza na nyanya wetu wa kwanza ambaye ni Adamu na Hawa na maandiko yanasema ya kwamba Bwana aliwabariki na watoto mtoto wa kwanza jina lake anaitwa Kaini aliyemfuata mbaye ni mtu wa nne naye akaitwa Habili na watoto hawa walipozaliwa wazazi wao waliwafundisha maadili waliwafundisha jinsi ya kwenda mbele za Bwana na ilifika wakati ambapo walitajika mtolee Bwana sadaka na maandiko yanasema kila mmoja alikuwa na taaluma yake katika maisha mmoja maandiko yanasema alikuwa ni mkulima wa shamba maana yake alikuwa anapanda vyakula anapanda matunda anapanda vitu ambavyo ni muhimu katika maisha na akiwa katika hiyo kazi Bwana aliendelea kumbariki na sehemu huyu wa pili ambaye ni Habili yeye pia alikuwa ni mkulima <coughs> lakini ukulima wake nao ulikuwa katika sehemu ambayo ni ya ufugaji na wote wakiwa ni wakulima ilipowadia wakati wa kumtolea Bwana kubariki Bwana katika matoleo tunaona ya kwamba kila mmoja alipewa nafasi yake ya kwamba enda ukajiasilisha mbele za Bwana kat 
katika matoleo ya mapato yako katika shamba na katika ukulima wa mifugo na sasa tunaona kijana wa kwanza ambaye ni kaini tunaona kienda katika mazao yake ya shamba katika matunda yake katika mimea aliyokuwa amepanda naweza chukua mfano ya vile vitu ambavyo tunafahamu ya kwamba katika ukulima unaweza panda machungwa unaweza panda miembe unaweza panda mahindi unaweza panda maharage na hata mboga unaweza panda sukuma na hata mchicha kila aina na vitu hivi alivyokuwa amevipanda hakika bwana aliachilia mvua na nikaweza kufanya vema lakini sasa ikafika wakati ambao anahitajika mtole na katika kutoa kwake unapotizama yeye alienda shambani mwake na akachukua mazao yake oh haleluya na akaleta akajenga madhabahu akawekelea juu yake lakini kuna jambo mara hapa ambalo anahitaji ujue ya kwamba sadaka yake haikukubalika mbele za Mungu kwa nini haikukubalika nataka nitoe kitu ndani ya fikra zako ya kwamba pengine ilikataliwa maana yake ni mimea tu la hasha bwana asifiwe lakini matoleo yake hayakukua kamilifu mbele za kwa hakuna mahali ambapo maandiko yanasema ya kwamba bwana anapendezwa peke yake na sadaka ambayo ni ya wanyama peke yake la hasha bwana asifiwe lakini yeye aliana mbele za Bwana katika kutoa kwake lakini ndani ya moyo wake hakuwa amefurahishwa kwa jambo hili maana aliana kachagua vitu ambavyo hakika naweza kuviita kama mabati naweza kuviita kama vitu ambavyo havina dhamani kuviita kama vitu ambavyo hata haviwezi kupendeza macho ya mwanadamu wa kawaida bwana asifiwe hiyo ndiyo aliyochagua kenda kajenga madhabahu na akawekelea juu yake na alipoweka moto maandiko anasema haikukubalika mbele za bwana maana yake vilikuwa hadifai bwana asifiwe katika nyumba ya Mungu mtu anatoa kile ambacho Bwana amembariki nacho unaweza kuwa unafanya biashara wa mboga na unaangalia unaona ya kwamba leo hii nataka kwenda mbele za Bwana na kile ambacho niko nacho Bwana asifiwe inakubalika mbele za Bwana lakini lile unahitaji ufanye fanya sawa sawa na maandiko ili upate baraka za Bwana Bwana asifiwe tengeneza mboga zako safi zile ambazo ndani ya moyo unaona hizi hata wakati mtu angekuja kwa kibanda hiyo ndiyo ingekuwa ya kwanza kuchagua oh haleluya itengeneze osha vizuri leta kwa madhabahu ya Bwana inakubalika na itakuwa ya baraka juu ya maisha yako Bwana asifiwe lakini ye ilikataliwa maana yake alienda na roho ambayo ni ya uzuni akachagua kitu ambacho hatina udhamana hiyo ndiyo alivyochukua na kuja kuweka kwa madhabahu 
lakini alipoweka moto maandiko anasema moshi hakika haukukubalika mbele za Bwana maana yake Bwana alikataa na moshi ukaenda kando Bwana zifiwe lakini sasa mtu wa nne ambaye jina lake ni Habeli yeye naye nafasi yake kumtolea Bwana ikawadia na maandiko anasema akaingia katika ukulima wake ambao ni mifugo akaenda akachagua wale wanyama ambao waliompendeza yeye na akaona kwamba hawa ndio ninayo staili kwenda kumtolea muumba wangu aliyenipa hata ujuzi na fikra za kuweza kufanya kazi hii na ikaweza kufaulu bwana zifiwe aka chagua wanyama walionona tena akawatengenesha kajenga madhabao atawekelea juu yake alipoweka moto maana yake alitoa kutoka ndani ya moyo akijua anamtolea aliyemumba anamtolea
nyuso mpya kabisa nimeona hapa na ni muhimu uh, wa salmia ibada hii see i've seen some new faces it's very very important for them to greet the congregations uh, one of them is called mercy ajao anaitwa mercy mercy timothy she's here yuko hapa you know she's a new girl in the house so sometimes you can easily miss her because she looks different let her quickly come in the interest of time give her the mic very quickly please uh mpeleke mic tu mahali yuko si lazima akuje tu kuja tunataka kuona ako na maua she has a flower eh she has a flower here bwana Wow, okay. So this is what you went to bring. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tumshangilie Yesu jamani. Amen. 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 Bwana si. Amen. Bwana sifi tena. Amina. Ah, mimi nikisimama hapa namshukuru Mungu. Ameniongoza katika hii safari. Wengi wanajua hii safari ni ngumu, lakini ukimtegemea na ukimkimbilia Yesu, kila kitu itaenda salama. Ami nashukuru Mungu nilibarikiwa na mtoto kijana tumeongezeka amen mbarikiwe All right okay 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 nita nitamuona wakimleta kwa madhabahu takatifu pia kuna Mrs Sulfano the new girl in town kuna binti katika mji nataka asalimie ibada hii kwa haraka sana alafu twende amen Situseme haleluya. Haleluya. Amen. Yeah, okay. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bendera ya Bwana. Haleluya. Kwa majina naitwa Beatrice. Amen. Eh, eh ni sawa. Huko nimekuja kuatembelea, si ndio? Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Ah, okay, okay. Tunasoma tu maneno kidogo kidogo. Haleluya. Amen. Yenyewe hajui mtu hapa. She doesn't know anybody. She's trying to learn vile tunaabudu, vile tunacheza. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor it is time to be fed. Mwambie jirani yako ni wakati wa kulishwa. It is time to be fed the word of God. Wakati wa kulishwa neno la Mungu. I'm glad to stand before you this afternoon. Nafurahia kusimama mbele zenu wa dhuhuri hii ya leo. Our service normally ends at 1. Ibada yetu huwa inaisha sasa 7. And we still have a couple of minutes to 1. Tuna dakika chache itimie sasa 7. About 35 minutes to 1. Dakika 35 itimie sasa 7. Let us go to the word of God, the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 10. Tuende katika kitabu cha Mungu ambapo ni kitabu cha Waefeso 2. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Maana tu kazi yake tuliyoumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo yake mema which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Ambayo tokea awali Mungu aliyatengeneza ili tuyaenende tuya nayo. We'll be reading some more passages as we move along. Tasoma maandiko mengine tutakapokuwa tukiendelea. For now let's just thank God each one of us lift up one hand and thank God in the service. Kwa sasa kila mmoja tuinue mikono tukamshukuru Bwana. We love you Jesus. Bwana. We bless you God. Receive all the praise as we stand before you Lord. Winuliwe na utukuzo na dhuhuri ya Bwana. Lord for thy divine anointing upon us. Kuomba Baba upako wako. Even as we speak thy oracles king of glory. We pray for your favor for your your touch for your anointing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. We may be seated in the presence of God. Tuweza kete katika uwepo wa Mungu. Next Sunday we will have a guest speaker here. Jumapili ijayo tutakuwa na mwalimu mgeni au mhubiri mgeni. I beseech you to reach out to every brother that is not here, every sister. Na wasiini kwamba mkawafikie kila ndugu na dada ambao hawapo mali hapa leo. 
We all need to gather in the house of God. We also continue praying for our country Kenya. Tomorrow the judges of the Supreme Court will be delivering their judgment. Whichever way it will go. I keep saying and that is a fact. We only have one nation called Kenya. Kenya tu. That is our land. Hiyo ndio inchi yetu. Our motherland. Inchi yetu. We pray that peace will prevail. Naomba kwamba amani itaweza kutamalaki. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu Na usiende mbali sana. Uwe karibu karibu na nyumbani. Should stay near your home yeah. sir. Hiyo naongea lugha ya nyumbani eh. That's the wisdom. Usiende mbali sana. Should not go that kuwa kuwa karibu. Just be around. Dio moshi moshi ikianza kutokea pande hii na kupata karibu na home. So maybe by case by bad luck maybe. Unanielewa? Yeah, you get me. Unanielewa? You get me? Amen. Amina. So next Sunday we will have a guest speaker here. Kwa hivyo Jumapili ijayo tutakuwa na mwalimu mgeni hapa. He will be coming from Nakuru. One of our leaders from Nakuru will be here. Alongside others. Amen. Amen. So mama Morini ni me communicate. Morini have I communicated? Wone kan wone na wazewe ingine. You meet with other elders. I thank God, brother Wandero Chieng wako hapa kina Victor mko hapa. Wandero Victor they are there. Niko online si itaji ni itaji maneno iyo ingine. Amen. 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 Ile nyumba ya pale juu inatakana iwe safi wa maadhe. Wa maadhe muko katika nyumba. Are there mothers in the house? Eh, inatakana iwe clean. We need to have it clean. Eh, so that eh, tuweke mesa ndani na viti. We have chairs and seats there. Ili wageni wakae tu mzuri. So that when the visitors Baada come. Baada ya asubuhi ni Sunday school wakimaliza yu naweka viti zao the kando. The Sunday school we put the chairs inside. Na injili na And the gospel proceeds. Eh? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Please don't hear that and then travel a hundred kilometers away from the church. Be closer to the church on Sunday. The church must continue. Teachings and preachings must continue. And we need to tap to different gifts of the Lord. So that as a church we can expand and grow. Today we are tackling the continuation of last week's Leo tuna, subject. Tunayazungumzia ile mfululizo ya mafundisho ya Jumapili iliyopita. But slightly different. Lakini kwa utofauti kidogo. Today we are talking about the fruit of grace. Leo tunazungumzia kuhusu matunda ya neema. The fruit of grace. Matunda ya neema. Somebody say the fruit. Mtu aseme matunda. The fruit of grace. Matunda ya neema. Grace as we said last Sunday. Neema jinsi tulivyosema Jumapili iliyopita. If you can remember, kama unaweza kumbuka, it is a Greek word. Ni neno la Kiunani. The grace is an English word derived from a Greek word charis. Neema ni neno la Kiunani linalotoka katika kwa kimombo ni charis. Grace in English. Kat neema katika kimombo it is an English word derived from a Greek word keris. Neno la kimombo linalotokana na kiunani keris, which means ambaye inamaanisha hello hello God's favor towards you who is unworthy. Kibali cha Mungu juu yako wewe usiyefaa. It is also God's benevolence on the undeserving. Na zile neema za Mungu kwako wewe usiyestahili. It also means unmerited gift of the divine favor in salvation of sinners. Inamaanisha pia kibali cha Mungu kwako kwa wewe mtenda dhambi. It is a divine influence. Ni ile msukumo wa kiroho operating in an individual kazi juu ya mtu for his or her regeneration kwake na kwa vizazi vyake regeneration kufanywa upya kufanywa upya and sanctification na kusafishwa and we also said na tuliweza kusema pia to fully understand the true, true meaning of grace kuweza kuelewa kikamilifu maana ya neema ni gani you must look yourself in a mirror lazima ujitazame katika kio and understand who you used to be na uweze kuelewa ulikuweko nani hapo awali before you received Christ kabla haujampokea Kristo who you used to be uliweza kuwa nani hapo awali we said in the spiritual realm kama katika hali ya kiroho you are a destitute person ulikuwa mtu aliyekuwa wa upweke you are blind ulikuwa kipofu 
mchafu you are unclean ulikuwa sio msafi you are dead ulikuwa umefariki your soul was in peril nafsi yako ilikuwa kuangamia destined for everlasting punishment inaweza kwenda katika mateso ya milele you are guilty of breaking god's law ulikuwa umevunja sheria za Mungu you are born in sin ulizaliwa katika dhambi you are an enemy of god ulikuwa adui wa Mungu you are deserving death ulikuwa unastahili mauti that is who you used to be hapo ndipo tuliweza kuwa hapo awali before you found christ kabla haujampokea christ but after receiving christ ni baada kumpokea christ you received the grace ulipokea neema the grace of god was extended unto you neema ya Mungu iliongezwa juu yako the favor of god came back back to you kibali cha Mungu kilikujia and grace is the essence of our gospel today na neema ndio injili yetu siku ya leo grace gives us victory over sin neema inatupa ushindi juu ya dhambi grace gives us eternal encouragement neema inatupa ile kutiwa moyo kwa milele grace gives us good hope neema inatupa neema inatupa kibali that is why the bible records hiyo ndio sababu biblia ina nakili that jesus christ kama yesu kristo is an em embodiment of grace yani neema grace coupled with the truth iliyochanganywa na ukweli that brings salvation unto us ma inaleta uokovu kwetu so when we say the fruit of grace kwa hivyo tunavyosema matunda ya neema the scripture that we read from today andiko tulilosoma siku ya leo it says that by grace we were saved kwa maana tumeokolewa kwa neema through faith pitia imani and it is not by ourselves na sio kwetu bisi binafsi the salvation we have gotten wokovu tuliyopata it is by grace ni kwa neema it is because of the kindness that jesus christ has shown to us kwa sababu ya upendo wa kristo alioonyesha juu yetu so salvation is a gift kwa hivyo wokovu ni kipawa a gift of grace from god kipawa cha neema kutoka kwa mungu Now the only reason that we can be with God at all na sababu ambayo tunaweza kuwa na Mungu kila wakati is because of his salvation from our sins ni kwa sababu ya uokovu kutokana na dhambi zetu God saved us from our sins Mungu akatuokoa kutoka kwa dhambi zetu In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 wa Efeso 2 2 hadi 1:2 it says inasema and you has been quickened nanyi mlikuwa wafu who are dead in trespasses and sin kwa sababu ya makosa na dhambi zenu wherein in time past we walked according to the course of this world mazo mulizienda zamani kwa kufuata kawaida ya ulimwengu according to the prince of the power of the air kwa kumfuata mfalme wa uwezo wa anga the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience roho ya yule atendaye kazi sasa katika wana wa kuasi before we received the gift of grace kabla tupokee neema kipawa cha neema we used to walk tulikuwa tunatembea in sin katika dhambi we were bound tulikuwa tumefungwa in sin katika dhambi you and i wewe na mimi We were made to worship. Tulikuwa tunafanyika kuabudu. We were made to serve. Tulikuwa tumikie God forever. Mungu milele. We have been destined to worship God. Tumeweza kupangwa kumwabudu Mungu. We were meant to live for God. Tulikuwa tumuishie Mungu. But we broke that principle. Kile tulivunja ile kanuni because of the law of sin. Kwa sababu ya ile kanuni ya dhambi. And because of sin, na kwa sababu ya hii dhambi, you and I, wewe na mimi, deserved not to live. Hatufai kuishi tena. But we were to die. Kile tulikuwa tufariki. Thanks be to God. Tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu for the fruit of grace. Kwa matunda hii ya neema. Because the fruit of grace, kwa sababu matunda hii ya neema, has brought salvation. Kama imeleta uokovu to us kwetu the fruit of grace has brought salvation matunda hii ya neema imeleta uokovu and to us kwetu you and i today wewe na mimi leo we are called believers tunaitwa waamini we are called children of god tunaitwa wana wa mungu because of the fruit of grace sababu ya matunda ya neema god salvation is a gift wokovu ni kipawa because he gives us freely kwa sababu alitupa yeye bure tu he gave us in love alitupa kwa upendo so that we could not otherwise have gotten it if it were not for his na 
grace. Kama si upendo wake hatungeipata hii wokovu. Allow me also to say this. Kubaliye kusema haya vile vile. It is imperative to know. Ni muhimu pia kuweza kujua that God's gift is greater. Kwamba kipaji cha Mungu ni kikuu than any other gift. Kushinda kipaji chochote kile because this gift of salvation kwa sababu kipaji hicho cha wokovu has made us to stand before God again. Imetufanya kusimama mbele za Mungu tena. It has given us the second chance. Imeweza kutupa nafasi ya pili. There are things Pastor Sulfano you could never draw closer to. Kuna mambo mchungaji Sulfano haungeweza kuyakaribia. There is certain class of life you could see it through the window. Kuna kiwango fulani cha maisha ungekitazama kupitia dirisha. When I came to Nairobi as a young man. Nalipokuja Nairobi kama kijana mdogo. In 1988. Sasa hivi 88. I could walk in town. Ningelitembea mjini and watch through the windows. Na nitazame kupitia yale madirisha madogo. Through the glasses. Kupitia zile vioo za Maduka. These things of steel doors on, on offices and windows of shops in town. Ya machuma pale mjini, it came during multi-party chaos. Ilikuja baada. All the shops had only glasses. Maduka yote pale mjini alikuwa na vyotu for display. Ya kuweza kuonyesha vitu vilivyo ndani. So I would walk and see a good shoe. Na ningetembea nione kitu kizuri. And I could say in my heart. Na ningesema ndani ya moyo wangu. Once I grow up. Wakati nitakapokua. And I make some money. Na nitatengeneza hela fulani. I'll come and buy this. Nitakuja ni buy hiki kiatu. I could see a good trouser. Ningeona swali nzuri. Walking. Nikitembea on the streets. Katika ule mji. And admire them. Na niweza kuvitamani through the window of display there are things my brother my sister you could never accomplish them if it were not for the grace if it were not for the gift of grace if it were not for the fruit of grace you could not be enjoying life today you are destined for death you are living under curse but today because of the fruit of grace we can find a time to stand before the throne of God and lift up our hands and cry about unto the Lord and our prayers are answered praise the Lord who are you to enjoy this life of salvation that you are enjoying today it took it took the fruit of grace praise the Lord one day you witnessed here and you said there was a young man when you were going to school he gave you a name you know when I'm seated here and you wrap wrap things here I stole hallelujah Amen. now today it is helping me to preach there are people if you meet them today look at me don't worry about it naona vile amekauka you see the way he is hata masi anashangaa mimi surprise huyo ni wangu that's mine hallelujah hallelujah king was given a name alipewa jina if you told him then, kama ungemwambia wakati huo, he will wear white shirt, tavaa shati nyeupe, and a matching tie, na ukiwa na tie nzuri, and a grey trouser. Na swali, somebody will say no. Tungesema la hasha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know there is a name they call him. Najua kuna jina walikuita, not Timothy. Sio Timotheo. You want me to say it? Ningependa niniseme, amekubali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today by the grace of the spirit leo kwa neema ya roho the fruit of grace matunda neema hallelujah hallelujah i hope hata kasirika mikono yake iko smooth sana bwa huyu 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 ni peris ndiye anafanya hii kazi nzuri she is the one that does this nice work at some point our hands were very rough wakati fulani mkono ilikuwa mikono yetu our hands, hands yes. interpret the way I say it. <laughs> At some point, our hands were very rough. And 
And the people who so are struggling. Na watu waliotuona tukimenyana wakati huo. If today they see our hands. Kama leo watatazama mikono yetu. They want to believe it. Hawataamini vivyo. But today I want to tell you. Lakini leo ningependa kuambia. This is as a result. Ni kama jawabu of the fruit of grace. Linatokana na matunda ya neema. It is an imperative to know that God's gift is greater than any other gift. Ni bora kujua kwamba neema ya Mungu ni njema au heri zaidi kushinda neema yoyote ile. If you have a good job today, kama uko na duka nzuri leo, that job can never be a greater gift than salvation. Hiyo kazi haiwezi kuwa nzuri zaidi kushinda uokovu. You have a better marriage today. Kama uko na ndoa nzuri, don't equate your marriage and your salvation. Usiweze kulinganisha ndoa yako na uokovu. Salvation is a fruit of grace. If any one of us shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, it shall be because of the fruit of grace. If any one of us is going to be expanded in life, it shall be as a result of the fruit of grace. If your children are going to be blessed, it is because of the fruit of grace. If you are going to build a home not because you have made enough money it shall be because of the fruit the fruit of grace if you are going to do good things allow me to say today it shall be as the result of the fruit of grace somebody say grace grace shall open doors I came to tell the church we are a product Product of grace. Past I pray for you today. That the grace of God shall open windows. Shall open doors. That this wedding shall come to pass. Because there are people who never imagined that you shall conduct a beautiful wedding. In the name of Jesus, I pray for grace. I declare grace. In the name of Jesus, I speak grace. In the name of Jesus, it shall come to pass. Somebody say grace. Salvation can only come to us. Wakovu na kujia kwetu. By grace through faith. Kwa neema kupitia imani. And as I alluded to last Sunday, na jinsi niliyofundisha Jumapili. One of the real meaning of grace. Moja bana wapo ile maana kamili ya neema. Is you having gotten something good that you did not deserve? You got something that you never deserve. God's salvation is gracious unto us. You cannot earn it. You can't earn it. You cannot brag. And say I did this. That is why I am saved. The fruit of grace. Brings. Gracious grace unto our lives. Please touch and understand what we are preaching today. There are things you can work for. Kuna mambo au vitu unaweza kufanyia kazi. You can work and achieve them. Unaweza kufanya kazi kisha upokee. But when I talk about the fruit of grace. Lakini ninapozungumzia kuhusu neema au matunda neema. It's going beyond your working. Ni kwenda zaidi ya kutenda kazi kwa. Going beyond your own capacity. Kwenda zaidi ya uwezo wako. Achieving that you never deserve. Kupokea kitu ambacho kustahili kukipokea. Praise the Lord. Wana Yesu wasifiwe. Kuna mtu hayuko hapa. There is somebody who is not here. Sitafadhali ukubali uwe hapa. Kindly can you allow yourself to be here? This is what I'm saying. Hivi ndivyo nasema. You are in your marriage. Uko katika ndoa yako. 
You are in your house. Uko katika nyumba yako. You are at your place of work. Katika mahali pako pa kazi. If other people were to be asked, kama watu wengine wangeulizwa, they could say, wangesema, you do not deserve. Wewe haufai of what you are. Kwa kile ulipo. But because of the fruit of Kwa grace. Kwa sababu ya matunda ya neema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You walk in joy. Unatembea katika furaha. You walk in peace. Unatembea katika amani. You walk in blessing. Unatembea katika baraka. Because of the fruit matunda hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord eh kulisifu jina la bwana people would have wished brother timothy watu wangekuwa wamekuroga bwana timotheo you operate this small machine unatekeleza hii machine hapa but the lord has given you a bigger one lakini bwana amekupa kubwa zaidi the fruit of grace matunda neema A few months ago before we went to the election. Miezi chache zilizopita kabla tujaenda katika uchaguzi. There was a ha, state house controller called Njiru. Kuna ule mambaya anaongoza mawasiliano pale. He came to Kati, TV. Aliweza kuja katika runinga. In a TV talk show. Katika ile mazungumzo ya moja kwa moja. He said he witnessed witchcraft at state house. Alishuhudia ile uchawi pale katika kasri au katika ikulu. Ikulu asante. He practically witnessed witchcraft alienda kushuhudia uchawi and they asked the, the media personality Akam, asked him how akamuliza jinsi gani and he said one time kisha akasema wakati fulani the head of presidential uh, media ule anayeongoza mawasiliano ya urais he did not come siku moja hakukuja and we really needed a camera na tulihitaji sana kamera pale to take photos because there were visitors at state house kwaweza kuchukua pichari kwa sababu kulikuwa na wageni pale in the program we did not expect na tukutarajia katika mpangilio yetu somehow the president got a visitor lakini kwa njia nyingine rais akapata so wageni so what they did they got another spare key kile walifanya walipata kifungua kingine cha cha pili they could not find it ange kipata pale they broke the door wakavunja ule mlango and when they entered walipoingia pale they got some dead skin okay. and animals on the camera wakapata vitu vilivyokufa juu ya zile kamera the camera zilekelewa juu ya zile makamera so the person who was the head of media na mtu ambaye aliweza kuwa mkuu wa ile mawasiliano ya rais anaanza kushanga this hey. what perplex what is this this guy believe na huyu mtu aliamini i am here because of this power of which craft niko hapa kwa sababu ya hizi nguvu za uchawi but you as a child of God lakini wewe kama mwana wa Mungu whatever desire you have in your heart lo lota ulilo nalo kwa Mungu Jesus has released his grace and yes wali achilia and the fruit of grace upon your life will make you to walk in the joy of the Lord. Praise God. Corona was with us for two years. Corona ilikuja nasi kwa miaka miwili. Election is still with us here. Na uchaguzi bado ulikuwa nasi hapa. The economy is so down. Na uchumi pia umeporomoka. Inflation is gone high. Vitu vimeanza kwenda juu. What we were buying 100 shillings is now 150. Tulichokuwa tunakununua kwa 100 tunanunua 100. This is the time that we need Kanisa. to pray for the fruit of grace. Kwenda kuombea neema ya Bwana that somehow by the grace of god kama kwa njia nyingine neema ya mungu our children shall go to school wana wetu wanakwenda shuleni we will be able to pay our rent tutaweza kulipa kodi zetu we will live a joyful life tutaweza kuishi maisha ya kufurahia because the fruit of grace kwa sababu matunda ya neema is sufficient inatosha Each one of us has at least sinned even if it is once. Kila moja wetu ameweza kutenda dhambi hata kama ni mara moja. Listen to this. Kise. And because of that sin, na kwa sababu ya ile dhambi, you became undeserving. Uliweza kuwa asiyestahili of heaven and blessing. Baraka za mbinguni. 
But it is only by grace of God. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. That you and I have an access to. We are accessible to God's grace today. Church let no demon lie to you. Hallelujah. Seven times you shall fall. But the Lord shall lift up again. Jesus will lift Lift up your hand again because of the fruit of grace. Yes, you have failed today. But the fruit of grace shall lift you up again. It is only by building on the lives of that grace. Choosing to live. By basing our actions on that grace. Building on a strong belief. That in his salvation. That indeed you and I. We can be saved. And we are saved. God has saved you. Not because of your good deeds. But by grace through faith. So that as you continue living. Your faith before God. Your purpose before God. Shall become complete. In Christ Jesus. In verse number 10. The Bible tells us. We are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. And to good works. Which God has ordained. Before. That we should walk in them. It is the will of God. We walk. In good deeds. Number three. You are saved to fulfill the purpose. The purpose of doing good works. For the kingdom of God. You are not able to do it. If you are outside Christ Jesus. In other words. Until and unless you are in Christ Jesus, you cannot accomplish the purpose which you are called. Our calling is for a purpose. I want all of us to say that answer. None of us has been called in the kingdom of God to be a spectator. Each one of you, somebody do like this, each one of us has been called for a purpose. Praise God. If you are not fulfilling it today, it is a matter of time. Somebody say this. I am called for a purpose. I am called for a purpose. Others between us in our midst were called to be prophets. Others to be evangelists. Others were called to be teachers. Teachers of the world. Others were called Hallelujah. Hallelujah. to be apostles. Apostles. And others to be pastors for the edification of the body of Christ. Meaning, each one of us is a player. Hallelujah. 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 Nataka to chase a volleyball. I want us to play volleyball here. Like each one of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trying to make you understand what I'm teaching today. Each one of us is a player. Each one of us. 
in the house of God. There is no weak and there is no strong one. We are all Sisi sote. children of God. Ni wana wa Mungu. Saved by vile vile tumeokolewa by the fruit na matunda of grace. Ya neema which is salvation. Mani wokovu. So from today you need to know. Kwa hivyo kuanzia leo unahitaji kujua. You have a specific work Ukona in the church. Ukona kazi maalum kanisani. One man Reverend J.O. Mmoja ambaye ni Rev Kasisi J.O. cannot light put on the light kisha hizi taa zote. Arrange the seat. Apange viti. Switch on the fan. Azime ile control the camera. Aje kujaribu kuongoza kamera. Go to the PA system. Kuna pale kwa PA system. Play the PS. Kucheza pia keyboard pale. I can't do all these things. Sio nifanya hivi vyote. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But each one of us. Lakini kila mmoja wetu has been called. Ameweza kuitwa for a purpose. So I may switch on the light. But another one. Lakini mwingine can switch on the fan. Another zima pale pia moto. And another one. Na mwingine can arrange the people. Anaweza panga watu pale. And another one. Na mwingine can play. Anaweza cheza tambrin. Ile tambrin pale. And another one. Na mwingine can pray. Anaweza omba. Each one of us. Kila moja has been called. Ameweza kuitwa for a purpose. Na kusudi fulani. The moment you fail to come. Wakati unakosa kuja. You are making the body of Christ. Unafanya mwili wa Kristo to be lame. Kuweza kuwa kilema at your place. Katika mahali ya sehemu yako. Am I clear on that one? Niko sawa kwa hiyo. Maya any time you are not there. Maya Frida wakati hauko pale. You are place. Mali pako will be lame. Itakuwa kilema. So it is important. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu tuinue hiki. Let us raise this chair. Brother Otoma come this side. Kuja we want to do it practically. Nipenda tuifanye hapa kamilifu. Well, Wacha tu vitabu nataka iwe na uzito inset. kidogo. I want you to be a little bit heavier. Ugeuke muangalie wale. Tazama pale. Aya, Let us raise it up. Nataka ikiwezekana shika tu na mkono hivi. Nataka kijana mdogo, sijui ni nani yuko. We, ni niitie huyu. Wewe kuja. Kuja huku, kuja nikupatie kazi. Kuja haraka. Vijana ni wazuri. Eh, suna, sunaona unaanza kuchoka. <laughs> kuja haraka. Shika hapa, hapa tu, hapa tu na mkono mmoja. Okay? Nataka mwingine. I want another one. Huyo msichana kuja. Huyo huyo mwambie akuje. Kuja haraka. Kuja huku. Anashangaa. She's perplexed. Run run very quickly. Kuna kitu nataka kufanya hapa practically. There is something I want to do what here. What I mean by saying. Ile inachomaanisha naposema. Each one of us. Kila mmoja wetu. Just hold it there. Tuko wanne. Si ndio? That's true. Tuko wanne, si ndio? Kwanne, Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now, nataka niifanye in a way. I want us to do it katika njia. Ubaya ninaima babe. Sasa kazi yangu haitafanyika vizuri. And therefore my work shall not be done here. Jaribu. Wewe shika hapa. Shika hivi. Wewe shika hapa. Tuenda shika hapa. Wewe shika ile ile. Okay. Therefore Wakuwane, they are lifting the chair. Wameinua kile kitu Each juu. one of them kila moja wao has their corner. Akona kona yake. Wachilia. Just leave it. Wachilia. Mwachilia. Wacha tu zinataka yaanguke. I want it to fall. Yes. You see what has happened? Naona kile ambacho kimefanyika. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi that brother Victor is strong. Bwana Victor ako na nguvu. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi that brother Patrick is strong. Bwana Wandera ako na nguvu. But because one corner. Lakini kwa sababu pembe moja. The person who was called for a purpose to lift this. Aliye itu ya kusudi ya kushikilia. Has left it. Ame iwachilia. It will fall. Kwa hivyo ita anguka. Each one of us. Kila moja wetu. Mniangalie. Look at Uwa me. Uwe kuhubiri ni pasta. You say preaching no. is pastors. If you don't come. Kama hauji. If you don't pray. Kama hautaomba. If you don't sing. Kama hautaimba. Who will the pastor preach to? Nani atakaye muhubiria mtu gati. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody says. Na mtu aseme. It is not my duty. Siyo yukumu langu. To sing. Kweza kuimba. In the praise of worship. Kwa rika kusifu. Can you church hear me? Can you say If you don't come. Kama hauji. When the singer. Wakati muimbaji. The, the soloist says. Kama mungu. Mikono juu. 
let us wave. Will he take the hands up? When he says, Sunguruka, Sunguruka, yes, move around. Who will he Sunguruka? Who shall move around? Each one of us, all of us, has a purpose in the calling. Jesus Christ yes, has called you to fulfill the fruit of grace in the church. Let us all rise up as I close. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible lets us know. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. And holy nation. Taifa takatifu. A peculiar people. Watu teule. That you should show forth the praises of him who ba has called you. Mweze kumonyesha sifa yule alie waita. Out of darkness. Katika giza. Out of darkness. Tokana kwa giza. Into his marvelous light. Katika muanga wake mku. The Lord has called you. Bwana meza kukwita. That you become. Weze. A peculiar person. Watu, that you may become a holy nation. Taifa takatifu. You are a chosen generation. Nini watu I invite you to take note of these things. Na watang, na kuna kili mambo haya. Those who are in Christ Jesus. Wale walio Christo, yes. The king of kings. Mfalme wafalme, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Yule jana leo milele, hata milele. Our creator. Mumba wetu. Our healer. Ponyaji wetu. Our savior. Mokozi wetu. Those who are called in the in his name. Wale walio itu kwa jina lake. Can finally enter. Wanaeza ingia. Or step into his purpose. Ama kukaa katika kusudi lake. Let us desire. Waja tushaukie. To fulfill. Kutimiza. The purpose of God. Kusudi la mungu. In our lives. Karika maisha yetu. Because the fruit of grace. Matunda neema. It has cost us. Mena kutufanya. To become ministers. Kwele kuwa wa to become servants in the house of God. Desire Shaukia. to do something kitu. in the house of Karika God. Ekalu la mungu. Number two, ya pili. those who are yet to know Christ Wale Christo. can be freed from sin through his fruit of grace in order to begin testing the fruit of grace. I therefore today beseech you not to joke not to play on Friday I heard something was it on Thursday your salvation wako. is not a piki piki, sijui ponke. <laughs> your piki salvation piki ponke. Wako. is not a piki piki ponke. Sio piki piki ponke. Cut dancing do, <laughs> sijui where. <laughs> Paka dancing. <laughs> Yellow disco. <laughs> your salvation is special. Wokovu wako ni maalum. I have watched the believers. I have watched the saints of God playing with their salvation as though it was piki piki ponke. Your salvation is precious. Listen church, our salvation is precious. And today, as I preach about the fruit of the grace, I beseech you, do not joke with your salvation. Do not play with your salvation. Allow the fruit of God's grace to manifest in your salvation. Don't remain a child in salvation forever. Begin to grow in your salvation. Praise God. When you came the first day, somebody gave you the chair. 
Do you want to be given a chair throughout your salvation? Put yourself in a position that you can also stand for somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you were new, we prayed for you. Do you want us to keep praying for you forever? You must reach a level where you can also pray for others. Let us utilize the fruit of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make the pastors work easy. Let us begin to grow. Bring me this little girl. This is what I'm saying. When she was born, the mothers, they could attend to them. On everything. Kila siku. But today, if I were to ask their mother, Lakin leo, kama uliza, wazazi wao, if she feels hungry, kama nja, today, siku ya leo, she will tell you, ambia, Mami, Mom, nja, na hisi nja, true or false, au si Ule wa shiko ongea, for she cannot speak at the moment. That is a sign of growth. Yo ni Kama ulikuna kaanga mboga na kijiko umesahau. If you are preparing your food chumvi, and maybe you forgot salt. Tell mom go and bring for na me salt. Na kwamile kajui chumvi ya tauja chumvi ni nini? What is salt? Na kwamile hiyo kitu nye upe hiyo leni. That one the white thing. That is a sign Yo she's growing. Ishara kwamba you are kuwa. Praise God. But I have watched most of us. We remain toddlers forever. The Spirit of God is saying, Let us utilize the fruit of grace. The grace of God upon your life must cause you to grow. To reach a level where you are no longer a baby. But you can stand on your own in the things of God. Thank you. Asanteni. Thank you. Asanteni. God bless you. Asanteni. Amen. These ones are blessed. They How many me to preach? To a big game of Let us clap for them. The gift you have today is because of the grace of God. That's why we pray. God give us your grace. Mungu weza kutupwa neema yako. God give us the grace. As we sing one number. There are men and women today under this tent. Throughout your life all you know is to complain. You have refused to grow. Adults, grown up people, when you see their ears, their eyes, removing tears, that woman or that man is in pain. But we thank God for the grace. The fruit of grace of God in the church today will cause you to be solid in faith. When you desire something for your life, Brother Sylvester, I remember telling you, God will intervene. You will build a home. And today when you gave a testimony, even when you are at home, I send you a text. And I wanted to know, have you built it? You showed me a photo. I said, thank you, Lord, because of the grace. Church, I came to tell you, refuse to complain. Refuse to lament. But apply faith. Because the fruit of 
of grace in your life will cause you to cross the bridge because it will happen. If you are here and you believe you will cross. You will cross. As we sing, I want us to pray. Because the fruit of grace must work in our lives. In the name of Jesus. As we sing, let's keep coming. We must break the yoke. We must break the chain. We must break it. In the name of Jesus. My father is my father, my father is my father, my father, my father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father, hey, 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 hey. My oh, my father, hey. my father hey. I continue inviting you, keep coming, keep coming, we want to pray here, in the name of Jesus. My father, 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 Oh, 
Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most Yesu tunakushukuru. Ndio Bwana. Tunakushukuru kwa maana umenena juu ya mioyo zetu. Ndio Yesu. Ya kwamba baba umewaachilia tunda la neema juu ya kanisa. Ndio Kristo. Tunda la neema ambayo ni wokovu. Ndio Bwana. Tunaomba baba utuimarishe. Imarisha. Naomba ya mfalme waimarishe. Waimarishe Yesu. Waimarishe katika wokovu wao. Tenda Bwana. Kwa jina la Yesu waimarishe baba. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kama mawimbi yanakuwa makali. Ndio. Kwa jina la Yesu ninaomba wategemeze. Tengeneza. Wasimamishe baba. Ndio Bwana. Kwa jina la Yesu wasimamishe baba. Ndio. Wana matarajio mbalimbali. Hallelujah. Aombe ya baba kama jamii zao. Ndio Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu waimarishe. Mm. Waimarishe kwa kazi yao. Kwa jina la Yesu. Waimarishe kwa ndoa zao. Kwa jina la Yesu. Waimarishe kwa masomo yao. Kwa jina la Yesu. Waimarishe kwa biashara yao. Ndio. Waimarishe kwa wokovu wao. Katika jina la Yesu. Wasimamishe baba. Hallelujah. Kwa jina la Yesu wasimamishe. Ndio. Naombea kwa njia iliyo maalum fa. Ndio Yesu. Waachilia mafuta ya Roho Mtakatifu. Ndio Bwana. Mafuta ya neema na kibali. Ndio Yesu. Juu ya maisha ya kila mmoja wao. Ndio Bwana mabwana. Unafungua milango iliyofunga. Ndio. Unaleta furaha paliyo na machozi. Ndio Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu unawapa amani. Ndio Bwana. Kwa jina la Yesu unawatetea baba. Unatenda. Wacha neno lako likatimie. Ndio. Maana umesema kuna neema. Mm. Neema katika mwaka huu. Ndio Bwana. Ba unasema baba tutatua kama tai mm. katika jina la Yesu ndio bwana mabwana asante kwa kuwa umetenda asante tunavunja kila nira za shetani kwa jina la tunavunja Yesu tunavunja kila vifungo vya ibilisi kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu vipate kushindwa shindwe tunakemea vipate kushindwa kwa jina la Yesu wachili ya neema Ndio wachili ya kibali ndio wachili ya baraka ndio wachili ya ushindi ndio Yesu katika jina la Yesu mm. 
Asante Bwana. Asante. Bariki kanisa lako. Bariki Bwana. Inua kanisa lako. Ndio. Simamisha kanisa lako baba. Simamisha Bwana. Naombea inji yetu mm. ya kwamba baba tunapoelea katika kutangaza mm. 